Hey stampers, again and again. Um, I've been doing so much today, I haven't really thought about a card, but uh, I've been going through a few messages. and I know a few of you want to use your scraps, and I did a couple on them around at McDonald's. So I'm going to try and get two cards in with you tonight. Um, the first one is number five, I think it is. <laughs> yeah. No. Number three and number five I'm doing on the first one to ten. And uh, it's using up the scraps. And I'm just hoping I've got the whole pattern. Yes, I have got the whole pattern the right way round. <gasps> Except for that one. Oh, right, let's rectify this. Uh, I want the pattern all the same way. Uh, oh, there we are. I just have to cut a little piece off. Like I will have to with these anyway. But I'm just going to cut three quarters of an inch off each one. And we're going to attach them to a, a normal piece of white. This one's perfect. It's already cut for me. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Scraps. Bang on. Three quarters of an inch by six. So I'm going to fetch my trimmer in. And our card is just a standard card. It's um, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So our inner card is going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Look, and don't ever throw anything. You can do crisscrossy stamp, lattice shape stamp uh, cards. So I've got two. Uh, we don't worry about being over the over the length because we're going to trim them off once they've attached them to our card. Three, and again, scraps, don't throw them away. You will find a use for them, especially your designs. You pay enough for your design series paper, so don't throw any of it. Um, I don't, anyway. Unless it's a tiny, tiny little piece like that. And I do, oh, I can't use that. <laughs> I'm not tight by any means, but... I believe in making what you've got go round. This is where we have the girls doing the one cheat wonders. Fabulous work they do. Sitting there, working it all out, so you don't you lose any paper whatsoever. And if you do, it's like the tiniest. It's probably something like that big. And you're like, ah, oh, no, don't worry about that big. And I can still use that piece. <laughs> right, so I need... A scrap piece of whisper white is only to attach, and like I'm saying, because our card's five and a half, we want this five and three eighths. I'm just hoping now, why do they? <laughs> and I never throw these, they're great for stamping on. And this we want exactly, oh, it's four. No, I definitely need four and an eight. Let me see. I've got, see, I've got loads here. Let's see if that's four and an eight. No, I bet none of them are. <laughs> Don't worry. No, <laughs> this definitely isn't. No, just two seconds. I might have to. Uh... Where am I now? I've... <laughs> My card stock is in the second floor down. Fingers crossed I can open it without. Yay! <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this this way now. This is, uh, I want this four and one eighth because I only want a tiny little border all the way around. See? Don't throw nothing. And this is five and three eighths. You're not even going to see any of this, but we're going to need this for later for the next card. So, no way. I hate wasting things. But I'm not overly frugal, if you know what I mean. So. Right, I start with the green. Uh, yeah, yeah, I start with the darkest and then work to the palest. And then from the palest out to the darkest with the pinks. Don't worry about going all the way to the ends either. I just try and line it up on the end. And then we're just going to trim off the excess. Because I don't want it to uh, stick to my card while I lay it down. 
and it's just a quick and, and somebody will look at this and think wow that's really pretty and you didn't have to do anything really apart from attach it to a piece of cardstock and they'll think you've spent ages cutting all these little bits out going all the way to the end this pattern is fabulous as well it doesn't matter which way around you pop it just pop it on in a straight line not like me <laughs> Perfect. Even if you go over the top, we can trim. We can definitely trim. That we can, that we can. And the other one is number five. It's the one with the daisy paper down the side with the spotted daisy. And I'll show you how I did my spotted daisies. So now I'm going to start with my powder pink. Let me just make sure. I bet these. I'm like a little fraction over. So do you know what I'm going to do with that little fraction? I'm just going to pull back this the tiny little piece. Who's going to know? Apart from me and you. Um, oh, I know why. Because my last card was four, eight and a quarter. Scored at four and one eight. That's where I got my extra little piece from. This card is slightly bigger. So I'm making sure, it's, if, even if you can just see a little slither, just take that little slither off because you want it all to be level. And, oh, do you know, there's a new promotion on if you wanted to join my team. It's amazeballs. You're going to get your £130 just to pick your own kit for just £99. You're going to get your business pack worth £45. They're also giving you a Santa's Essentials pack, it's called. They're going to give you, there's a brand new Christmas carols. It's called, oh, let me see what it's called now. <laughs> Head like a third. Let me click, click, click. Um, it's called Christmas in July, the promotion. Um, I'm going to open it with a. Flipping. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? No, I can't open it with that. It will open now, I promise. While we're chatting. But they're giving you um snips, uh snail, grid paper. That's a whole pack of a hundred grid paper. Um there it is. Two D blocks, grid paper, paper snips, snail adhesive, a bone folder, and a brand new stamp set that's coming out called Carols of Christmas, which you can't get until the first of September. Um, but they're going to throw that in with your start kit worth sixty five pound. So you got sixty five. You got a forty five pound business pack, which is which makes one hundred and ten. You are one hundred and thirty pound to spend as your kit. So that's two hundred and forty pound. Plus free delivery, so that's 245 and you're only going to pay £99. And if you join my team, not only will you be helping me get to Silver Elite, which I long for, um, so I can earn the incentive trips, um, you'll also get a piece of jewellery from me, which can be added to every time we reach another milestone. Even if you just wanted to do it as a hobby demonstrator, you will reach those milestones if you're making regular purchases. And you'll get 20% off everything. I have sent flyers and emails out. Um, and not only that as well, we have got another promotion. If you didn't want to join, just wanted to purchase, for every £45, like Celebration, instead of getting a freebie, you're going to get a voucher to spend in August. They don't have to do these things, but they love, love, love treating you the same as we do. But you won't only get the jewellery off me. You will get something else and something else and something else. But I don't like to give it away what I'm going to give you. Because I like to keep it as a surprise. But uh, And I won't tell you what the welcome piece of jewellery is. So see, we've gone over, but you don't care. 
So you're going to get about 270, 75 pounds worth of product for 99 pounds. You're going to get to join me and my stamping queens, as we are called. We can also be a part of the Pinkies team, which is what my team is when I joined. Look, see, look how sweet that is. And nobody even knows that you've just used up bits of scrap. They probably think you've gone out your way to do that perfectly. So this now, I'm going to fetch my card in and we're just going to score. Making sure it's on the score lines. Perfect. Oh, sweet. And the one I did uh, for the Ronald McDonald. See, we've got a tiny, tiny little board all around there now. Isn't that sweet? I'm going to attach that. I used a uh, different sentiment because it was the birthday wishes, uh, Ronald McDonald. Uh, I used birthday greetings, so on this one, we're going to be using something else. So let's get this attached. Perfect. Isn't that sweet? Absolutely, you can stamp inside as well. Um, I'm going to fetch my scrap back in. I'm going to get off this now. <laughs> and, oh, and I'm using the new label, Me Pretty Punch. But the saying is from um, Bunch of Blossom. I love this. And it says, today is a perfect day to be happy. Well, it is. Every day is a day to be happy, especially when we're crafting. I craft every day, so this is perfect for me. So I'm just going to ink up my sentiment. I finally, finally got all the rest of my circle punches and the new starburst and the new um, the ribbon uh, border punch. My wires just fell down. Look at that, isn't that cute? I've just had a new set of drawers put in here. My husband is like moaning now because the dogs keep moving around in the kitchen. <laughs> and they're like, your mammy keep pinching our bed space. And I'm like, sorry boys but and girls, but mammy's the stamping up stuff is growing. I line this up. And that's going to be our sign. Don't feel that even. I will find something to do with it. <laughs> now I am getting stingy. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm going to fetch in my dimensionals. And these are left over from that kit, project kit I had. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you watched that video. They were stunning. So two cards in one evening tonight. If I can crack on. I'll just keep gas bagging tonight. Oh, look, cramp, cramp, cramp. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah. I get cramp a lot. <laughs> I get it in my feet and, and legs and, oh, look, it wants to go back. It's the, uh, ah. Apparently, if you rub your feet a certain parts of your feet, it'll stop the cramp in your hands. <laughs> or if you rub your hands, it'll stop the cramp in your feet. Oh, I don't know. As long as it stops. Right, I'm just going to pop this on here. And it's basically done. But I'm going to add some bling. You know me and bling. I'm going to... Uh, because I thought when I first did it, oh, how plain does that look? Until you add a bit of bling. So you've got the centres of these flowers. Not everywhere. Just uh, the odd one or two poking out. So pop them on. There, see, it's one there. And it look, just looks like you've scattered your bling. i got another one by there. I'm going to be a bit more organised today because I have... Oh, I've done loads today. I'm going to pop one either side. Isn't that so cute? 
I think that's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Oh. I did have a few more bits of, I don't know, just one, two, three, four. It's pleasing to the eye to see an odd number, apparently. So I'm going to squeeze one right there. Perfect. Well, that's card number one, which is card number three in the one I did for the Ronald McDonald house. So, like I'm saying, don't throw these bits away. I keep, I get, what I do is because the paper is 12 by 12, I cut one of each pattern and each colour down six by six because most of our projects are five and a half or five and three quarters so there's plenty on a six by six plus we sell it either six by six or twelve by twelve but I keep the rest then at twelve by twelve I keep my scraps in with that designer series paper same as this one the delightful daisy half of the pack I cut down and keep my scraps in here so I know I'm not, I used to have, just have one big massive bag for scraps and in the end I used to donate them to the schools for the kids to do after school clubs. Um, right, card number one, oh, while I'm talking, <laughs> we're going to move on to card number two. And this is our um, same size card again, eight and a half by five and a half, scroll at four and a quarter. We're going to be using our... Um, daisy paper. Absolutely. I love either side, but we're using this one because that's the one I used in the video. And again, we're just going to trim this down. I think I used about three quarters of an inch either side again. There's one. Oh, I don't know, I might be a bit fat that actually. Yeah, I think it is. Now let me, I think it's half inch. See, I, I did them cards as I was going along, so I didn't keep an eye on my measurements. Oh, don't lose it. What size is that anyway? Oh, it's one and a quarter. I'm going to line this on this line, see, that way I know I've got a straight line. And on this one. But it's quite short there. I'm going to bob that along. That even, <laughs> my plate didn't do anything then. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Let me find another piece. Oh, again, 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 again. There you go. We've got another one. Oh, don't worry, they won't get to waste. I will find something for them. <laughs> I bet you're all thinking, stingy bugger. No, I'm not, honestly. But I've had a lot of requests asking, what can we do with our leftover scraps? So, I'm just trying to help out. I cut, no, no, just stick to it. Half inch. Uh, yay, that's better. And another half inch. Yay, that's better, because I think by the time my daisy goes in there, let's get this out of the way, fetch in some scraps. Yes, that's perfect. So by the time we glue that down there, and it's not long enough. <laughs> oh, wait there now, should we do this? No, it's got to be this one. It's a fraction, tiniest fraction. So I'm going to just pull it like so it looks like it got a border punch and like it's got a border all the way around. I'm not wasting it. So I'm going to lift it up a touch. So we've got an eighth of an inch there, there, and along here. So it looks like some separate piece of card. And the same this side. Perfect. How's that? Problem solved. But now, if my daisy is wide enough for there. Any wider that paper, and it wouldn't have looked right. 
So let's stick these down before we uh, lose them <laughs> or misplace them, which is the same thing as lose. I don't know, I just bump, I just ran on me. Perfect. We're getting two cards now in one beat. Lovely. I'm getting really close to my 200. Um, I'll have to have a head count, head count, a video head count, and let you know how far away I am. Uh, I think it's only about about 26, 27 to go, and I've reached my 200. Since I was, my plan was 200 from the 1st of January to the 24th of December. We're only just touching July and I'm nearly there. Uh, I'm nearly there. <laughs> right, that's it. I did have it all the way to the top on the other, but I don't care. We're having a border. So, oh, I need my other. And I'm using the dots from the... Um... Let me just pop that in there. Uh, the Awesomely artist Autistic... Artistic... And we're using these dots here, and we're using and my gorgeous night of nude colour. I love my night in navy. <coughs> but we're also going to stamp my scrap because I give my daisy some speckles as well. Excuse me a moment, I won't be a sec. Sorry about that, my husband just called me. I'll consider it while I'm making a video. <laughs> so I just add in some extra dots to this because this is what we're going to punch our flower out and I think I need to so I'm going to put some more down here. I love these dots, they're cracking. Beautiful. And I added some on the back of my card as well. But I think I stamped off. Because I didn't want them too dark. So I'm gonna stamp and stamp. Stamp. Yeah, that's plenty. I don't want to overkill it. So, and we're going to, oh, and I need another little piece of scrap of wisp white. See, now this is what this is perfect for. So I'm going to tie, er, uh, type. I'm going to stamp my thank you in Night of Navy as well. And we're going to banner punch the end. Oh, no, don't worry. There's always the solution. So, do you know what that is? That's my marker pens. Ooh. Where have I put them? Oh, they're up there. <laughs> Where have I put them? <laughs> so, I'll just fetch my night and eve again. And I'm just going to... Fill in my blanks. And how's that? You would never know. Right, I'm just going to use, I'm going to use a straight line because I'm crap with scissors. Me and scissors do not go together. So, I'm literally, see, perfection and, well it's not perfection actually but it is in a straight line. My blade needs changing. Now I can throw that. Because I've got what I want out of it. But doesn't worry, I can. Oh my god, me and scissors really don't match. Oh, that'll do. Who's going to know? I'm going to banner punch the ends now. I'm going to have to speed this one up a little bit because my 
video, my camera will only let me record for 33 minutes. Look at that pop. <laughs> and I think I'm up to about 26 now. But there we are. That's going on the bottom of my card. So I'm going to fetch in my lovely, lovely daisy punch. And I'm punching two out. Ugh, don't you just hate it when that happens? Just relax, relax. <laughs> I'm going to end up ripping my paper in a minute. Right, get lost. <laughs> so, let's see. Deeply everywhere. And again, another one. That's come out that time. It's typical, isn't it? So, we're going to use our dimensionals here. I've got three left on this pad, three full ones and some bits, so I need one here, and I can use the bits on my, uh... thank you, see, nothing goes to waste. Nothing whatsoever. I can even angle that. Look, see, nobody's going in there. I'm just going to line these up. I'm going to pop this one on the back, ready to go on my card. And I'm not going to take the backing off yet. Um, do I need my stem? Let me just check the time. Oh, we're all right. We've got six minutes. <laughs> and I believe the daisy punch and the stamp set are back in uh, the back for sale. So I'm going to use green garden. Garden green, so just to say for my stem and leaves. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. And I'm coming right to the bottom. Oh, isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. And on the other one, I use clear faceted gems. But if you notice, my daisies are yellow. So I'm going to use the gold ones. I'm just going to rush up the ends. Peel off the back. You could make a thousand of these with scraps. And then I have one here. Oh, it transforms the card. Just look at that. Absolutely adorable. So now for my, thank you, I'm just going to pop this along here, you wouldn't want that in the post as a thank you card, a couple of uh, rhinestones, one either side. Beautiful. And I'm just going to scatter three now. Here, there and everywhere. Got to have bling, girls. Got to have a bling, bling, bling. I'll do an update and show you my new layout. Um, probably tomorrow. It'll only be another two minute video just to show my kitchen and how I've utilised the space. But my poor dogs are suffering. No, they're not. Bless them. I would never let them suffer. So, there's card one. Whoa, let's see if we can get this in. Let's give it a half. I didn't stamp with it, did I? Dozy mare. So, let's rectify that. 
fetch my scrap back in. Hey, me huffing that. <laughs> I didn't even use it on the days. Oh, bless my soul. I am trying. I'm just going to pop one. Not all the way, even on the card. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get a paler one. Oh, yes. Let's see if we can huff on these. Perfect. I'm not doing any more. I even decorate the inside of this one. <laughs> So if you've got any more information about joining my team, send me an email at gainerb44 at gmail.com. Let's move that. Oh, I'll be sticking it back down. Or go to my blog and subscribe there. And my email's in there as well, my, on my contact details. Look how beautiful is that so that's card one uh two this is card one just using up scraps and bits of old paper look um bit of bling and you've got yourself two beautiful cards um we could even add a few dots in here who would ever know just to jazz up the border so there we are card one and two, which are three and five from the Ronald McDonald collection. So, but thanks for watching. A thumbs up and a share and a subscribe and come and join the team. I would love that. Oh, by the way, don't forget any purchases over £45 um, before PMP get a £4.50 voucher to spend in August. So, pop along to the shop. I don't mind. Thanks for watching. Bye.